Alrighty guys, I think we're live! Alrighty, so today I've got a whole heap of arrows. Whole heap. Oh, Oblex Cleanage, haven't seen you for a while, buddy. Let's get the chat happening, eh? So today the plan is to get used to the HT back tension. I'm thinking about going with the back tension for a while and I've just I'm just, uh, speaking of releases, oops, 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 forget that it's on the gimbal. Make sure you go uh, check out Archery Supplies because I was just messaged Steve and I'm going to get a goat, one of the new goats coming out. So has anyone seen the goat? Has anyone, if you have seen the goat or know the goat, not many people I'm still coming in, comment down below if you've seen the goat or know much about the goat release. Because that's what I'm thinking about getting. One of the goats. One of the goats. Chuck. Just going to get used to the back tension. That's what's up. So the goal for today is just bear bailing. That's why I've got so many arrows. I've got 20 to be precise. I've got the HVs. 3D HVs. I've got two gold tip ultralights just to make up 20 arrows. So I've got two gold tip ultralights. And I have the Victory Vap, so I've got 20 all up. Ah, oh, man, the bee, that's what they look like, the old knuckle dusters. Eww. Boom. Okay, so let's get into it. How's it going down under? It's going it's an absolute awesome day today. Nothing but blue skies. Let's see if I can show you this. Let focus in. There you go, nothing but blue skies. Here on the down under. Here in the down under. Well, up there, that's it. Okay, so I just need to warm up a bit, still early. I'm gonna be shooting a lot of arrows, so I'll make sure I get a bit of warm up happening. Get those shoulders warm. My elbow's still a bit sore after that um, Kimura, that guy got me in, buddy, bro. He's a good roller too, let me tell you. Blue belt, blue belt dude named Bro. Got me in a Kimura, a sneaky one. I nearly had the reverse on him, I nearly reversed it on him and I just missed my handles like this. I went, went slipped out and then he's gone bang. I went, oh no, it's all over. But I just, as soon as he's got it out, I've straightened it out. And then he started giving me the straight arm bar. And that's always a horrible one from the Kimura. So I'm stuck in this straight arm bar. And what you gotta to do to escape a Kimura, like in dire straights, and I would not recommend this if you don't know what you're doing. But if someone's got you in a Kimura, you can straighten your arm out and then keep rotating your hand and hug him behind the head. And it's a it's a strong man move, let me tell you. It's a, it's a dumb one. But my elbow's still sore about that. So we need a good warm-up. We need a good warm-up. Uh, okay, what else have I missed? Adam Gibson, do you know what Adam? I punch the back tension just as much as I do the trigger, but the thing with the back tension, I can concentrate a bit more on not punching it. For some reason I can dis disconnect like the thumb, you know what I mean? Because when you when you're punching the thumb it's like a it's a it's a jerk movement. But with the back tension, I can just concentrate on not doing any movement, not any movement, just relax, just relax, just relax. So that's the plan. Try and get the back tension out just to get that in the head. And once I get that with the back tension, that's when I can go back to the thumb and it's like re recalculates the brain. If that makes sense. And the problem. That's true, that's true as well, the old competition. That's what people keep saying. It's, gee, it's a comp it was a big competition, Jimmy. You can't help but wig out sometimes. I don't want to wig out. It was just ridiculous. So I'm thinking I might even go back to, because um, the whole reason why I'm doing this because I crashed and crumbled big time in the Nationals. God, let me, oh, I haven't even told you. So I forgot I haven't even told you. I've been kind of avoiding the whole situation because it's been doing me head in. So how about I go through the, um, Nationals for you. 
Oh, so a week before we start practicing, everything's good, and then I start, you all notice, I started getting real jumpy on that trigger, on that thumb. But I was still shooting good, and I shot a couple of 300s punching it. This is a week before the, the Nationals, so I'm thinking, I'm going good, I'm going all right. And then we went through the punching problem. Dog! It just won't shut up, will it? So then I'm going through the punch problem. Everyone's going, get rid of the punch. I'm going, it's too close to the Nationals to try and change anything. So I just went into the Nationals doing what I was doing. Just thinking, yeah, I'm just going to get in there and keep doing what, I'm, what I've been doing. I shot a 300 with it, so I may as well um, just keep going. You know what I mean? I'm going, all right. So I get in there, the nerves are going, everyone's around. It was packed. And guess who's the bloody judges? The people that kicked me out two day or a week before the comp. So the people that are judging it are the people who kicked me out as well. So that got in my head. So I'm like, oh no, here we go. That'll be right. So that was in my head. That's all started. We've gone out to the um, first thing and I thought two ends to warm up, no worries. And I've gone XX10, XX10. I'm laughing, you, I'm in. You know what I mean? We're still going good, we're laughing. So then, so practice went good, everything went good, come up to the third end, and I've gone eight, then I've gone nine, then I've gone eight for the third end, so I'm like, I'm like what the hell, first end crumble. But it turns out we got three ends of practice. So that's, um, so that's third end. Let me get through the story before I go back to the chat. So, third, so we've got to the th um, two ends and the third one turns out it was a practice. So we got three ends, so I like, well, I was lucky because I just freaked out big time because it was like, I've gone XX10, XX10, first round of the comp, eight, seven, eight, or seven, it was so bad, it was two saucy ones anyway. So I've gone, oh no, what's happening? But it was a three end of practice, so we got three ends, so that didn't count. So I'm like, Oh, because I thought I blew the Nationals in the first end, because that was, a, I think I dropped, it was like five down in the first end, so I was like, I've gone, so that's, um, so I've gone, oh no, but yeah, because it was practice, I've come back, so I've gone from a super high to a super dip, oh, I've got another chance, I'm in. Oh, so we get out, and um, first end of the Nationals, I've gone... 10, 10, 9, so I only dropped, I dropped one on the first end, so that wasn't too bad, so I thought I pulled myself back together, thank God that we had the third end of practice, so then we've come up to the second end, and I've gone 10, 10, 9, and I'm like, what's going on, and I just was that jumpy on it, it was ridiculous how jumpy I was on it, so I was like, oh no, here we go, here we go, so then um, third end comes along, Bang, I drop another one. I just kept dropping one on the last one every time, just punching through it. So then started playing on my mind a bit. I've gone to the next end, cleaned it, cleaned it, cleaned it, and then started dropping some more. I ended up dropping seven on the first round. I was like, oh no. And then the second round, I think I dropped, I dropped eight. So I was just all over the place. I was dropping one nearly every round. It was just ridiculous. So that was uh, so that was the disaster of the Nationals. Oh, absolutely horrible. So 15 down all week. I hadn't dropped more than two or three. Coming to the Nationals and punch your way into dropping 15. So, so I ended up with 585 out of 600. 585, is that ridiculous or what? So let's get into it today. The plan is, okay, my truck is saying, good on you, Adam. Okay, so just a guy. Oh, just a guy's in. Everybody's in. How are we? Chris Dozer. Yeah, everything. As soon as you start punching, everything starts crumbling. So the goal is today, get the back tension out. And um, just just bear bail and just get back to that no anticipation, just waiting for it to pop. Just waiting for it to pop. That's the plan today. Got the skinny up. Bill, how are you, Bill? Just missed me story. So we'll get into it. Oh no, I've lost my finger sling. 
Thanks to Big T. I wonder if Big T's watching. I've got me spare ones. Get a Big T sling out. I wonder if this dog is going to do this the whole time I'm out here. I think I made it worse. God, shut up. That dog is insane. I know. Throw it a ball. Where is a ball? Hang on. I've probably got the kids throwing the kids for it. Found an old ball, this has probably been sitting there for 15 years. Didn't do shit. Uh, throw out a ball, I just didn't work. Didn't work. Okay, we're in. Get a silver. Oh, I bought a silverback. I didn't. I didn't mind the silverback. Punch ball released it. The goat. Has anyone seen the goat? I'm thinking about getting the goat now that everybody's in. Have you anyone seen the goat? The new release by um, True Ball. I'm thinking about getting that because it switches. The old switch. It's a double. It's the sear and the trigger. Thought that's interesting. So I wouldn't mind giving that a go. Get into it. So I'm going to be using the, the HT because I was getting the smoother draw with the HT last time. Not worry about aiming. I was a bit <laughs> just started aiming, then was just naturally. Got to not worry about aiming and how I'm going to shoot it. I'm just going to really concentrate on um, taking the pressure from this finger and changing it to this finger. Like that's what I'm going to concentrate on. We'll see. We might end up changing it. <laughs> we might end up just shooting it with the top finger. We never know, but we'll see. You're going to shoot a lot though. Bad. Oh, here comes a bell tip ultralight. Man, these are old. It's dangerous. I think I'm going to leave the old um, ultralights. I need to re knock them, I think. Oh, here's another one. Don't want an exploding knock in the good bow. Dog! Bite a bone or something. <laughs> Feeling nice. That one felt nice. That one felt really nice. I really just don't want the explosion to happen because what happens with the back tension too is I explode. Like sometimes I end up pulling that hard into it that it just goes boom. So I don't want that to happen. I want it to be a nice soft release. That was 
that's good. That was a really long hold though, it took a long time to go off. I just want that nice soft release. How's it looking? Is it looking alright? I'm hearing great things about the goat, are ya? Oh, about the sear, oh, about the sear release. I thought you were talking about the sear in the, um... Yeah, the sear is a good release. I got the sear here. The only problem I don't like with the sear... I'll tell you what I don't like about the sear. It's where the thumb peg is. You can't get the thumb peg in a good spot. Even when you change it, I'm just changing the peg to a different spot. Even when you get, it's hard to get a good grip on the peg. Like I'm touching me finger here. Maybe if I just put it on there to draw back. Maybe that's an option. Maybe that's an option. Let's we'll see. Made it worse. All right, so let's get back into it. The back, the, the thing. This dog is freaking me the fuck out. What else can I do to shut this thing up? Here's a bear shot. Shoot 17 arrows. Maybe whistle and we'll shut it up. Don't blame you for bailing out after that dog, Jesus. That helps kick the fence. <laughs> That's feeling really nice actually, that's really starting to feel nice. I'm really start what I'm doing, I'm doing a Dudley check-in, just a little Dudley check-in, just a little bit of a shunka shunka. So when I, I get the full draw and when I start pulling back too hard, I just just do a little Dudley chunk chunk. And then I know I'm not pulling back too hard and I just pop. Feeling so nice. Oh, that's the nicest the nice as the back tension's ever felt for me, actually. Normally hurt my finger, exploding out of it. Of course, I'm pulling back so I'd always get a sore finger, but I'm not getting a sore finger today. Yet, anyway.
That's going off really nice, actually. I'm like, let's get a target out and start scoring. No. Well, this one's missing. This one's missing. Fletch 16 arrows. I'm just waiting for it. It's all about having the patience. You've got to have the patience with um, a good shot. Like, you can't rush it. It's not rushing it, it's having no patience. You're like, I can't wait any longer, I can't wait any longer. It's got to go now. It has to go now. That's what you've got to get out of your head. You've got to just get the, it'll go, it'll go. I'll trust it, it'll go eventually. It'll go, it'll go. Oh. And that's what I've got to get trained back into the brain. Because I just used the two fingers, maybe I'd like the um, the Jod Dudley special. What is it? The the knock too smooth. Maybe I should get a knock too smooth instead of the the goat. I just thought the goat seemed pretty cool. That you could use it as a thumb. Then if you wanted to practice, you swoop it over, and it's all exactly the same feel. All exactly the same. We need to count the ends here. Three arrows to go. If I got 16 arrows, if I shoot 10 ends, there's 160 arrows. That one took a while. I wanted to punch that one. I wanted to punch that one so bad. So, so bad. It's got to train that brain to be patient. Train the brain to be patient. Starting to like the feel of the back tension now, actually. Starting to like the feel. What have we missed on the chat? Give it some Epsom salts, what will that do? Buffering bad on my phone. Oh no, all right. Is anyone else failing? Has anyone else got bad buffering issues? I'll restart it if it does. That seems to help sometimes. Finally caught a livey, 4 6 United. Big T, greetings from the. Just had to get a big T finger sling out. <sighs> from the MT, still up there, buddy. Alright, two hours to go. We shot the first 16. All right, let's go collect some arrows. Darwin's an awesome place. I always wanted to go up there, up north. Where did that last arrow go? So I was aiming that last one. 
Oh, in the tent. Just nearly. All right, so here's the damage. The target full of arrows. It's gonna be practice in the day. Quite a lot of arrows here. I probably should uh, probably should re knock all me um it's not the knocks that are look dodgy, it's the the pins are corroding on the gold tips. Imagine if I got all the gold tips out, got every got three sets of arrows. Then I'll be doing so. what release are you shooting with, Bill? I'm shooting the old HT release. They don't make these anymore, but they still make this. It's the honey badger claw now. B Tamp, are you crazy Ozzy? You playing with the back tension, that's right. Just playing with the back tension. Just giving the old HT. I'm starting to get a good feel with it too. I was starting to get a good feel with it just then. So um oh I love the HT brass. It is an um it's a good one, it's a rare one now. Such a nice looking release too, isn't it? Um, Black, how are you, Blackhead Jimmy? Are you still shooting the true fire sear? The problem, I, I do have the sear, but the problem with the sear, I can't get the thumb on in a good pullback, like this one, so I can get the thumb on, so when I'm pulling back, I'm kind of pulling with the thumb, just as much as the finger, it makes it easier to come back. But with the C, I can't really get my thumb on there to pull back with the thumb as well, you know what I mean? And that's the problem I've been having with the C. So I end up pulling all with his finger, and of course I'm pulling all with that finger, I start shaking. I think that's why I was jumping off. But I was just thinking, I was just noticed then, it's got this little thumb smooth bit here. Maybe I should just sit the thumb on there and just pull back with that. But still, it's still all finger. Still, still hard to get a, you know what I mean? It's still hard to pull with the thumb and, but you don't want to pull back with these two fingers, God. If you pull back with anything on these two, you just end up punching yourself. Oh, Ricardos doesn't like it. Ricardos doesn't like the sear either. Another set of 16. Let me move the camera a bit closer. Then I might be able to read your comments at the same time. Yeah, I had the same problem with it. The, the thumb, not being able to get on the thumb, it's horrible, isn't it? Um, and it puts your hand in a weird thumb position. Yeah, it's a weird release. They still make the HT, are you sure? I don't think they make the HT anymore, bro. I don't think they do. It's now the Honey Badger Claw, like to get the same, they still do this mechanism in the Honey Badger Claw, but I don't think they do this thing shape anymore. You can get them floating around, yeah, that's right. And you sell them for nothing, you do have you have to sell them for nothing too, don't you? Because they're cheap as. That's true, you can't get your money back with a sear. That's true, I got this one second hand actually. I got this one second hand. What are you shooting, B Temp? What sort of release do you use? Oh, Primal's in! Primal, I didn't even see you there, buddy. You. Yeah, they still make the HT? Alright, well, there you go, because I thought they stopped making it. I seriously thought they stopped making the HT. Thump. Which brand? What release too? Do you think I like the silver? Silbacks are great for a back tension release. Knock to it. Ooh. Oh, it's me going. Oh, 
I can just whistle it down now. It's me going, me making a howling noise. That's what's setting him off. Calm down. Um, I didn't like the too smooth. It was too short in the head. Oh, it had a really short head, did it? Um, I've tried two finger style, like John Dudley explained a time ago. Better get rid of a knock to it for hunting, stand, shoot off the target. Oh, there we go. Knock to it for hunting. I like the stand shoot off, that's my old release, but I've got to stop, I'm, going, I'm on this now. Trying to, until I can get rid of that anticipation punching thing. Dog wants a trick. Oh no. That was a long hold, that took a long time to go off. But it was a nice release. My favourite thumb is the Just Cause by Carter. I've never tried many Carter thumbs. I don't think I've ever tried a Carter thumb actually. Um, Gary uses a Carter thumb. Primal says the Prefer X is nice. You're getting along with it now, Primal. You're starting to like it. You've got the short head too, don't you, Primal? Definitely starting to go off a bit nicer. They're framed, they are a big chunky release, aren't they? They're really thick too, though. Well, this is pretty thick as well. But yeah, they are a chunky release, the Carter, aren't they? Oh, they largely framed. Hang on. Still scaring the hell out of you? Because of the hook, because of the hook primal. I got a HT with a fast click. Dick's Q, you keep telling me with this fast click. I need to get this fast click, don't I? Holy hell, you've been telling me for ages and I still keep forgetting all the time. Just, It's just hard to put a release in with Lancaster. Because it's probably going to cost me $10 to buy and $30 to get shipped to Australia. So like, you need to put in a big order with Lancaster, if you know what I mean. Starting to get the feel, is it? Charles Duplessy, how are you buddy? You've had some good videos coming out lately. Is the Nationals talk through out yet? I've been stinging to hear how you went. I crumbled, crumbled like a hot slice of apple crumbles. I explained in the start of this one, if you watch the start of this one, you can see my explanation of the Nationals, how I went. Ugh. Absolutely horrible. Which is why I have the HT out. <laughs> trying to get rid of that target anticipation. Trying to get rid of the the no patiency, because it's all about being patient. We need that patient. I've got to be a bit more patient. So I just let it go. Just let it go instead of just trying to... I'm too late. I can't wait any longer. I can't wait any longer now. I've got to stop doing that. Oh, wow. Just going to let it happen. And I'm getting it. I'm starting to get it.
There's patience there. That was patience. That was just sitting on it. Just go and go. Just wait. Just wait. And here I'm shooting at people. If you're wondering how I'm shooting at home, I'm just relaxing the hand, but I'm just concentrating on feeling more pressure on this one, on this one, than this one into the shot. So the pressure's all on this one. So I'm, I'm just relaxing the hand and making, uh, making sure I just feel more pressure into this one. That's, that's what I'm doing. Um, bright side, hang on, what's this? How's the new bright side of rest treating you? It's going absolutely great, actually. I'm loving it. I was surprised how quick it tuned in. Um, that, seeing Zach reason I went for the BT. Had too much anticipation, thumb punches it. That's it. How's it going? Tricky, Tricky B. Ricardos, uh, Jesse Broadwater style, that's it, Jesse Broadwater style, I think it's the main thing and I was talking to Adam Gibson about it and they'd done a big test with all the pros and they put pressure on here and it turned out the relaxed hand was the best way to shoot it for consistency. So have to be careful sometimes, you don't hit your click before you draw back. Coming off nice too. That's what I'm doing too. I have three fingers on, but I'm only really fusing the two. Oh, you've got it like this. See, my problem when I'm like this, I get the gay wave happening. When I'm like this, I come back a bit more like this. So that's the reason why I have it up like this rather than like this. So when every time I do this, I relax the hand and just... If I do this, it comes back nice. Still, well that's the plan anyway. I don't want to be doing this. How's it feeling? Zach is safe to be not sponsored, bro. There's not much big difference. Not much at all. Get things a little bit cheaper. Jelly wrist, the jelly wrist, that's the good one. Dix Q getting the jelly wrist. The jelly wrist. I like it. I knew we'd been looking for a new one. Oh, we come up with them. That was it. That's it now. The jelly wrist. Didn't like the gay wave. Everyone's different, that's right. You gotta work out what's good for you, don't you? Definitely coming off nice. Thanks, B Temp. God, I love you. I was, I was happy I just went to. I was happy I just made it. But you know me, it's not. wasn't an easy thing with bloody car sickness and all the things. I nearly didn't go. You know me, I nearly got sick. I got the flu now though, I nearly got, I got, it's killing me. Sore nose, back of my throat sore. That's it, don't, don't jinx us, don't jinx us Bill. I gotta stop making you noises. I think as soon as I go, you, oh yeah, I think the dog thinks it's um, that I'm howling or something, so I got, still alive? Still alive, Emerald Shield, Emerald Shield. Guess what I'm getting? A, a goat, thanks to you. So I've decided what I'm going to get is the goat. I'm 80% there anyway, 80%. Thanks V10, thanks V10, I love you, I love you buddy. So I'm getting the goat. I don't know about it, I'm still, I need you guys for opinions. What do you think? about this new goat is it gonna be the new HBX is it gonna be the new HBX where it's a new like everyone's got to have the goat and then six months later everyone's got to sell the goat because that's what happened with the HBX didn't it so I don't know is that gonna be the thing the goat 
to goat or not to goat. But that's what I'm thinking. Ah, uh, I'm here, legend of shield. I just saw to get the goat as well. <laughs> See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying about the HBX? Is it going to be the next HBX? Where everybody thinks it's going to be the bomb, but it's not. The dude's brides. The dude's bids. I'm um, just talking about releases. And I'm thinking about the, um... Thinking about the goat. Boom! Oh, dude, it took me a second to get that, Dick's cute. So yeah, let me know what else is, if anyone else has heard anything about the goat, because I think it's only just come out. Not many people are shooting it yet, I don't think. But it does sound interesting. What I kind of like about it, it's the same, it'll be exactly the same release. You know what I mean? Like, this release is different shape to the thumb. So if I go back to the thumb, it's a different feel. But with the goat, it's exactly the same, and it's exactly the same thing as the, um, the fulcrum and the flex or the fulcrum and whatever, the fulcrum and the abyss, except you don't have to buy two releases. Emerald Shield, stop it buddy, stop it. I can't be too loud because of this dog. Oh, ew. No. Oh, Adam as well, you're joking. Adam as well, you are joking. What? Just wanted to thank you for all the help you've given me through your videos. Ah, oh, you're a legend, buddy. God, I love you. I love you guys. Oh, now I'm definitely getting the goat now, aren't I? Eww, holy moly. Holy moly moly, 290 USD, yeah, they're not cheap. They're definitely not cheap, are they? But yeah, the goat's coming. God, I love you guys, Adam, you're a champion. All right, wow. Heck, dick, okay. Back to the shooting. Back to the shooting. Oh, I love you guys, okay. So just keep working, and I'm working on the Dudley check-in, I gotta get back in the zone here, I gotta get back in the zone. Ah, oh, thanks Emerald, you're, you're a great guy Emerald. So Andy, how are you Andy? Got to meet Andy. Okay, so um, I'm just working on the Dudley check-in. Who's calling me? Someone from Sydney, I'm joking. I have to decline that. Don't have to decline that one. Um, hey, how are you? So I'm working on the Dudley check-in. I'm not sh pulling back too hard. I've got to not pull back too hard because that's a big problem. Over back tension for me. I will get way too much back tension. So I'm just doing a Dudley, little Dudley check-in. A semi-Dudley. The semi-Dudley check-in. Just not a big one. Just a little shunka shunka. And then um, I'm just working on relaxing the hand and swapping the pressure. Swapping the pressure from here to here. Let's go. Almost 400 Canadian. What the hell is it going to be Australian? It's probably going to be $600 in Australia. See, I might have to do this for a couple of days. Just really get into it. That is dear, the semi-Dudley. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. I'm waving all over the place, but I'm not worried about that at the moment. Just get that, um, let's just get that release happening nice.
425 from Pats. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. That's an expensive release, isn't it? Jesus. Wow. Maybe I'll have to think twice about the gate. <laughs> Holy hell. Definitely nice to shoot like that. I don't know how nice it's going to be to aim. What do you need to get? Oh, God, you're a nice guy, mate. Oh, I mean, the Emerald Shield, JP. You're a character. We get screwed. That's it. Aussie's archery bits. That's, um,. So dear to get shit in um, Australia, and it takes so long as well. Can't find here. It's maybe the good swimming from the US. <laughs> That's what um, Charles Plessy said. That um, who had them? Pat's. Pat's got some. Pat's or is on the price list at Pat's. Four twenty-five. Four twenty-five from Pat's. <laughs> oh, funny, funny, funny. That's a good one. Who makes the release? True ball. True ball. It's a true ball goat. New Scott Accent release looks nice. I haven't seen that one yet. Micro adjustable. Micro adjustable clicker. Oh, it's like that's a, it must be like a two moon system. It must be a two moon system to have a micro adjustable clicker. That does sound interesting. Punch that a bit. I was aiming then. <laughs> Guess what I do as soon as I aim it. Punch it! Punch it! <sighs> Gotta just let it happen, let it happen. They sold it this morning. The goat is 425 AUD. Sold it this morning. Who sold it this morning? Did you buy it? Did you buy it, Charles Duplessy? Was it you? Was it you that bought it, son? Let's find out. Yep, two moons. Ah, see, so I guessed it. I guessed it. I'm starting to work these archery products out. I think your nickname is Jimmy Tower. <laughs> Jimmy the Leaning Tower. Jimmy the Leaning Tower. Just can I get any further over? Do you know what? I went and got hurt me back at Jiu Jitsu a couple of weeks ago and I had to go get a back x ray to make sure I didn't break my back. But it turns out I got scoliosis. I'm a bit like this in the back. Maybe that's got something to do with me lean. Because I'm, my back's a bit twisted, or maybe my back's twisted because I lean. <laughs> maybe one of the two. No, I sold the HBX one. Oh, okay. Okay. So maybe that's why I'm leaning, because I got the twisted back. Maybe. I don't know. Don't know. I just thought of that right then. Felt nice. That was a nice one. Did it look good? Because man, it felt nice. Just, just popped. No pressure. No explosion. Just went from pressure to pressure. Poof. Who's this? Who's this? 
Come on, go away. Can I miss it? I missed it. Am I? Who's this? Oh, I missed it. Who's the subscriber? Oh, TU1X just subscribed. TU1X1. TU1X1. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for the subscribe. Yeah. Okay. There was a crooked archer. At a crooked. <laughs> You're a character. Okay, put two inch board under the back foot. Two inch board under the back foot to make me lean this way. To make me lean that way, you reckon, and even itself out. <laughs> Classic. Okay. Oh, I've nearly shot another 16. Too much talking, not enough shooting. How long have I been going for? How much battery have we got? Heaps of battery. What's the time too? I think I'm going to practice for a while today guys, so he's going to get a long live here, that's for sure, 10.30. Let's practice till lunchtime till I get hungry, eh? What do you reckon? Hit that nine. That was a long hold. Alright, we're out of arrows. Another 16 down. 32 arrows shot in only an hour. <laughs> oh, yeah, we we'll to get some good practice in with you guys. Now, let's go. What's looking for an outdoor rig shortly? Ooh, here we go. Thought I'd go through Stephen for sure. Give him a ring and um, have a chat with him. He loves having a good chat. He'll tell you everything. Do you know what I like about Steve is how honest he is. He could be selling it and he'll still say, nah, it's not for you. He's, um, oh, here, you don't need to see nothing. It's just a big pile of mess. Yeah, so he'll tell you what's good for you. He'll even tell you to go somewhere else if he doesn't have it. He's just a great guy, Steve. Steve from Archery Supplies in South Australia, but there's not much he doesn't have, let me tell you, he's a one-stop archery shop. The one-stop archery shop. Depends on the coinage. He's got some good ones, he's got the Elite bows now. I've always been curious about the Elite, everyone. It, um, it has a thinking about you and thinking about it. shooting. A bit of gold fever. You'd clean up, you reckon? Oh, the PZ shoot down. Big T's got the shoot down as well. How's it going for you, Big T? You still liking it? Big T still around. Go tops, hey Jimmy. Just got on the way. Just got on. Oh, why are we going through the back tension instead of the thumb release? Oh, I had a major trouble time at me nationals. I crumbled big time and I was punching that trigger like a boxer. I was just coming in, just pop, 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 pop. I was punching everything so I thought I'm gonna go back to the back tension and learn some patience again because it's not an anticipation thing for me it's a patience thing it's sitting there going go 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 now I can't wait any longer go now go now I cannot wait any longer go and I punch it because I can't wait so I'm learning a bit of patience
<laughs> He's always carrying that puppy around, isn't he? Loving the poodle. Oh, let's get into a practice some more of this nice soft release. That's what I'm aiming for, a nice soft release. Oh, the old hit the hit the click before you start drawing. It's always a good sign. That was a nice one. It's still exploding out of my hand a bit though. Still exploding out of my hand a bit. The time, so I'm using the Time 6 release, the Time 6 um, lens too. I don't think I like it. I think I'm going to go back to the Times 4 actually. Mate's got a little shoot down and loves it. The Valve 35, love it. If I was getting an outdoor bow, this is what I recommend for an outdoor bow, JP. Is a long bow. Make sure it's no shorter than 40 inches. You don't want anything longer than a, anything shorter than a 40 inch axle to axle bow for an outdoor target bow. Trust me, that's just that it's got to be a must, I reckon. I had the 38 in the Hoyt and didn't like it. I had the 40 in the um, the 41, I think. The C4 is, and that was just as nice. You want a really long axle to axle. You're not carrying it through the bush, so it doesn't matter. You tried shooting it without the click? Yeah, it just takes me. I like to get in the click, because I know it's it's only got the fraction to go. You know what I mean? I don't have to go, is it now, is it now, is it now, is it now, is it now? Is it now bang? Is it now, is it now, is it bang? I never know when it's going, like I never know when I'm in the, I'm in the spot. And when I do a good, when I, when I get good at the click, I try and just hit the click here, click, before you want to, you want to hit the click before you start even looking through the lens, you want to click before it starts, before you start aiming, because um, your mate Scotty Buscombe says if you're aiming while well, you haven't hit the click, the good shot's the click, like when it goes click, that's the good shot, then you'll start aiming bad, so you want to start aiming before, you want to start aiming after the click happens if you're going to use a click, and that's not an easy thing to do for a beginner. And especially to hit the click before you come into your anchor point, that's a scary thing for um, someone who's not used to using an anchor. Let's try. Can you hear me click at home? Can you hear the click? Let's see how close I can get the, see if I can not punch myself in the face, but hit the click before I start aiming. See how we go. See that? As soon as I went click, as soon as I it hit the, as soon as I hit the anchor, it went click, and that's perfect. That was spot on. Why a 32? Why a 32 inch? Why not a 32 inch axle to axle bow? You mean? Is that what the the um? The shoot down's a long one, isn't it? It's like 38. You don't want a short one just because it's too. The longer it is, the more forgiven it is, if that's what we're talking about. As I anchor, that's what you want to do. And above the dot, so you just sink down into the dot. Gary's a big advocate of the above and sink down. Outdoors hunting rig, 3D hunting rig. Oh, okay, we'll get the shoot down. Get a 38. The shoot down's a great one for that. Or well, the Evolve, you can use the Evolve for the thing. Shoot down's 37, I thought so. I thought it was around the 38 mark. That was nice. Can you see me doing the Dudley check-in or is it that micro? You just don't even see it. I'm going like that. I'm coming in off the back wall a little bit. I'm just coming in off the back wall, just making sure I'm there without going too hard. So you have the 35, so you've got a short bow. And why not get a long bow? Have best of both worlds. There's no point in getting a 35 and a 
37, get a 35 and a 40. That's my opinion anyway. Start below and come up. Charles Duplessis likes to come up. There you go. I don't, I just, I come from wherever I am on the target. Sometimes I'll come up on here, sometimes I'll come up on here, sometimes I'll come up on here. I'm normally in the gold. As soon as I come to anchor point, I'm normally in the gold. So I anchor in the gold, it's just I'm in different parts of the gold when I anchor. Yeah, 40 is a good, a good one. If you want a short bar and a long bar, then you can tell the difference anyway. Been playing with a bit of hunting up the side of the peanut hole. Just up the side of the peanut hole. <laughs> I get you Because <laughs> you're always smashing peanuts. Oh, be temp, you're a character. Uh, what works best for me is anchor and set your back tension against the wall. As it sets, the click goes off. Ah, so you do like the little Dudley check-in to get your arm, um, to get the click to go off. That's a good one. Yeah, that is a good one. Using the Dudley check-in to get your click. Well, that was a big check-in. Did you see that check-in? That was a massive check-in. Checked right in on that one. I need to do less talking and more shooting, I think. I'm not coming into me click very good, but I'm not worried about nothing. All I'm worried about now, I'm not worried about the aim. I could be going from blue to blue to blue to blue. I'm not even worried. I'm just worried about getting that anticipation over. The stealth has a little valley. Ninety percent let off. I haven't tried the ninety percent let off. I should put the nineties on my bow and have a go. But saying I've been meaning to do it, I got to do it, don't I? I'm gonna put it through the chrono and see what the difference is. I was trying to aim then without getting panicked. It's tricky. It's hard not to go. Okay, go, 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 go. Now, go, now, go, now. Like that's it. Your head screaming at the release. Anchor, release hand, takes the elbow up. Ah, I see, I see. Little or no valley. There's not much valley in the um, low let off ones, let me tell you. In the fast let offs.
Just transition that way, transition the weight. That was better. I'll not pull back too hard, so I'm starting to aim now. I'm just doing a little bit of aiming, just a little bit. Just a little bit of aiming, see how we go. That's it, like you could tell, could you? Because I was aiming, I pulled back too hard. I didn't even get the sore finger. Gotta not do that, thank you. Relax the hand into the shot. Don't pull it through. Just relax the hand. Just relax the hand. And I'm up by another sort of 60. Don't buy another 70. Just buy the 70 pound limbs and put the 70 pound limbs on the 60, bro. Just buy some 70 pound limbs. That's the answer. Take the lens out, then there's no aiming. Well, that's true. Maybe I should go back to the um, the double vision lens. We only got the center; you can only see the gold. Maybe I should go back to that one. As soon as I start to aim, ball goes out the window. What's your thought on wrist release? I could never get on. I was super punchy with it. I could not not punch a um, trigger release. I just could not do it. Sir Charles, yeah, I'll be waiting for the next video. Just relax. That's why you bought the silver back. Stop the punch. That's it. You can still punch any release though. Just don't don't do this. You do you can do that to set off the um the old what's the name too? Silver back. That was good, I'm starting to get the hang of it. I was aiming all those last ones. I was aiming all those last ones and then just telling myself, just pretend you're not aiming. Yeah, it looks like a bit of 
bit of a tight grip. Couple of the 10. And I got the big blade on, so I'm not getting any clearance, but that's not a look at that, that's not a bad grip. Let's get rid of this one, I don't know what's happening. Look at that, that's not a bad grip. 10 size grip. Oh no, I've knocked the vein off. Shot of vein. Oh, I'm going to reflect it up. You were looking a bit punchy. That's why I asked about the hinge. That's it, I'm on the hinge now, Bo. Trying to get rid of that punching. What's this? Blitz. Blitz, do you still use the Silver Jack Jimmy? Can't get mine to hold. Um, send it back. I had a bit of trouble with the one I had too. I just borrowed mine. Mine was a loaner off someone from the EXA. One of the army contacted me, said, you want to borrow mine for a couple of weeks? I said, yeah, that'll be awesome. So I ended up borrowing one. But you got to adjust it too. The best thing I can say to do if you're using the um, silverback is you have to buy a bow scale. You have to know where, the bow, where it's going off. You need it, that's the only thing. Yeah, that's true. That does happen a lot. That does happen a lot. It's TU1. TU1X. To 1X. Okay, let's go. I'm still curious. That goat is so expensive. How come the goat can be so expensive? What makes the goat so expensive? Two release in one? Who knows, that's crazy. I can't get the goat price out of my head now. Can't get the goat price out of my head. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Especially when bloody Chinese copies, would probably a Chinese copy would cost you bloody 10 bucks. I don't know why they just don't get them made in China my opinion. Goat from there. <laughs> oh Bill. Bill 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 Bill. That one, the, um, the click was a good shot in that one, the click was a good shot in that one, that's all I can say. Try relaxing the index finger a bit. All right, I'll give it a go. Oh, slapping arrows. I think I crunched a knock then.
explosive. Ah, that's true. Half the money's going to Rio. Rio's probably getting um, royalties from every sale. Took so long to go off. Back to bear bailing, back to bear bailing. I was aiming then, I was aiming all those ones. Who is Brio? Back to bear bailing. Two Dudley check-ins, did you see that? The double Dudley. The double Dudley, that was. That was a double Dudley. Tell you who used to do heaps of Dudley check-ins was um, Sarah Stonickson. If you used to watch her old videos, she was always testing that back wall. A bit of a hunter, Bill. That's understandable. Rio Wild was like one of the top dogs in the thing for years. Explosion. Stop aiming. Maybe I'm getting a bit fatigued. Don't know how though. How long I've been shooting? An hour and twenty. Still on sixty percent. Yeah, Rio's been around for shooting a while now. Okay, let's get into it. Just got to relax. Back to bear bailing now. No more aiming. Just worry about getting that smooth, relaxing the hand into the pressures. Change pressures as the hand's relaxing. That was it. That was the shot. That's what I gotta imitate all the time. That's what I gotta imitate all the time. What is your best 720 score, Jimmy? Mine is 670, um, I think. Or 669? 669 or 670 was the best overshot in the 720. A 104 rating or something. A 104 rating is the best I've ever done. Looking good. You bit of um taking your mind off your day job. Okay, let's get in on just more of that, more bare balance, don't worry about the aim. It's that smooth feeling. It's that nice smooth release. It's 
nice when they go off like that. Bill, what are you up to, Bill? Nah, I love you, Bill. A lot of people say I'm a good um, bedtime story. They watch me when they go to sleep and I put them to sleep. <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you all. Nice smooth release. Starting to get a bit shaky, but I shouldn't worry about me shake. I should just worry about this release. Get this release up. And here's a two fleshed arrow. Here's that two fleshed arrow. Let's see how it goes. Oh, you've got it. You've found it. You've you've been on the mission for a while, there, buddy. I've been seeing the videos. Hopefully, we've got a video coming, do we? We've got a video coming, Justin. I wish I could get them to go off like that while I was aiming. If I could get them to go off like that while I'm aiming, oh, would be in money, people. Would be in the money. It would be in the money. I should be building a new set of field arrows, but watch. <laughs> Love you, Dick's Q. Love you, Dick's Q. I wish I could come to Australia and meet any time, Bill. Any time you come to Australia, I'm happy to meet any one of you. Do you know my biggest disappointment with the Nationals is I didn't get pictures with all the people who came up and said hello. I wish I got next time I'll learn. I've got to learn these things. I'm not used to it. Not used to it, but I'll get there. So next time you see me, make sure we get a picture together. Yeah, I'm really wanting to get back to making some good bids. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Alright. Oh, I did bust a knock, you bugger. Look at that. Smashed a Robin Hood. That was when I was aiming too. I was aiming at these ones. Another one. I'm going to have to buy some new pins. Down to 15 arrows. Going to have to buy some new pins. Did you see the target I'm making? No, I haven't seen that one. I must have got the notification. I'll go and check it out after this video. I did see it on um, Discord. I've seen it on Discord, if that's what you mean. Let me refresh this. New colour in the chat. That. Have I tried one? No, I haven't tried the let off with the 90% let off yet. Yeah, I did see it on Discord. Looks interesting. No, I'm keen. I'm going to get the chrono. I've still got my mate's chrono. I have to give it back this weekend. But, um, so I'm going to get onto that. I might get onto it the Savo. 
maybe go at the Salvo and I'll chrono the difference between the high let off and the fast let off, see exactly what the difference is. So here Justin, have a great day. I hope everyone's having a great day out there. Oh, here we go. Niam floods. Enjoy Benny interviews. Just a thought. Say hi. Well, hello there, buddy. It's uh, always a welcome to say hello. I always like saying hello. Oh, getting stiff. What's the time? How long have I been going for now? Hour and a half. 11.15. Let's go for another 15 at least, and that'll give me half an hour to go get lunch, and we should be good. Alright, let's go. See if I can continue this nice feeling. Looks good. That's pretty quick. That's pretty quick. My um, my my evolve. It's um, 67 pounds. I'm shooting a 338 grain arrow, and I've got it at 330 feet per second. So it's pumping out some speed. My evolve 330. So it's been helping you too a bit. The old um, back tension it definitely helps with the punching situation, doesn't it? The anticipation. Nice. I'm really starting to get the um, Jesse Broadwater relaxation thing happening. So I'm just getting there and then I'm just relaxing the hand. I'm just relaxing the hand and it's just going so nice. Oh, it's That's the way to do it. Broadwater's onto it. Broadwater ain't Broadwater for nothing. It's got to be the best way. I was trying to relax just the fingers. Do you know what I was doing wrong? I was trying to relax just the fingers. Now I'm relaxing the whole hand. And the whole hand sets it off. That's just what I just changed right then. So nice. That's it. That's how I'm doing it from now on. Relaxing the whole hand. I was just relaxing the fingers. I thought it was just relax the fingers. But no, you got to relax everything. You relax the whole hand. It just goes doof. I relax the hand a little too much. The release comes flying out. <laughs> the fix for release of body rest. Oh, I've seen that happen. I've had it once. I've let go of my thumb button once. How did I do it? I was. I used to go to full draw, and I'd check. I used to check me knocking height at full draw with it like this. I'd come to full draw, then I'd go like that and hold it out like this, and check me um, knocking height. Oh yeah, that's all right. And then one day I just relax the fingers and just come flying out.
relax the wrist. That's the way to go. Oh, okay. That's what I've been doing. The whole hand, like that's what I mean. The whole wrist, the whole kit and caboodle. The whole kit and caboodle. You've got to relax the whole kit and caboodle. Give it a go, see what you think, see what you think. There are you think that's what you gotta do with archery. You gotta try every different little thing until you find what really works for you. Definitely goes off nice when you do it like that. Now it's easier to relax, so sometimes it's hard just to get your fingers to relax when you're tense in your wrist and your hand, it's hard to get your fingers to go when everything else is tense. You relax everything. The whole hand wrist idea, that's it. Too thin a blade for the bounce off, you mean? No, 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 it's me. I've got a problem. It's me. It's all in my head. I um, I shake a bit. I bounce it off myself. It's a target panic issue. And the car. This is a. This is a. This is a super thick blade. Super wide blade for um shooting fat arrows. So it's just me. It's got to pull it back smoother. Definitely going off nicer now. Let's have an aim one. Looking good now, buddy. Oh, I like it. It feels good too. It does feel a lot better, actually. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hitting a click before I draw again. Definitely a nice way to set it off actually, definitely a nice way, I'm liking it. That's why you shoot with a click, just so you know, yup. I probably would have punched myself if I didn't, shouldn't I? Relaxing through the shot, old Griv. Old Griv, he's definitely got some good stuff out there, Griv, doesn't he? It's a two Fletcher again. I've definitely been doing some practice today, haven't I? What are we at now? Now 35. about the aim. <sighs> Gotta not worry about the bouncing. 550 for a grip. 
It's 550. Cleaning up, Griff. He's cleaning up. That'll pay for his Australian trip. Holy hell. Only needs 10 people, and what's that? 5Gs. Thing a week. A thing a week. A thing a week every six months. Uh, my local archery shop has a bulb, 35 just down movement. It has 60. The six, it's sixty dollars cheaper than the 2017 model. That's a bit crazy. I got the 2016 model Evolve. As I said, because Steve said he'd hook me up cheap, and he did like a champion. So I got the cheapy 2016 model. Doing Sydney and Melbourne, he's clean enough. Clean enough. That's more than Jiu Jitsu seminar. I thought Jiu Jitsu seminars were dear. That's a dear one. Is it a two day course or something? How long does it go for? We're doing the Jimmy Seven Up for free. <laughs> Loving it. Loving it. September, so August, September, it's only a month away. Tell you what, that's how um, there's an Aussie in the B Hornets, in the B Hornets, in the Hornet team or whatever they call the, the Griv team. Australian dude named uh, Matt McDougall, I've met him, I've shot with him a couple of times. Not on the same target, but on the like next target over, talked to him a fair bit, you know, rah rah rah. And he met Griv and got on the team by going to one of his seminars. And now he goes over to America all the time and shoots the grip all the time. So maybe I should go and try and get on the Hornet team. Not that I shoot enough, good enough to be on the Hornet team. That one went off real nice. Ever since I've been doing this whole hand release, it's going off really nice actually. Both season starts in September here. Ooh, I want to go hunting so bad. I want some venison so bad. I want some venison, like so bad. I've been to Griv, he's about three and a half hours away from me. Oh, that's lucky. You're a bit old for to be ordered. <laughs> That's true, they all are young guns, aren't they? They are all young guns. The old young gun Hornet team. 460, September the 1st, elk season. Ooh, man, I wouldn't mind shooting an elk. Wouldn't mind shooting anything like that. Can you send deer meat to Australia? I don't know. I don't know. You'd have to. I don't know what. It's, you'd have to work out some sort of freezing method, wouldn't you? I suppose they ship. I know they ship Australian meat to Hawaii. Hawaii's eat. So I imagine. I don't know. Come to Portland, England. We'll go elk hunting. Oh, I'd love that, buddy. I would love that. I would love it. Imagine shooting a dirty big elk. I could not imagine that. That would be insane. I'm thinking about going buffalo hunting. One of my mates that I game with, that I play the games with, uh, lives on a property, um, owns a property up in Northern Territory. Actually, oh, Big T, are you still on? If you're still on Big T, I could probably hook you up with a hunt. We made up in Northern Territory. 
the um, lives, I don't know, probably, but he goes, I can guarantee uh, two buffaloes in 48 hours. We can just go buffalo crazy. There's buffaloes everywhere. Big T. I've got a mate who lives up there. He reckons there's buffalo, pigs. He's, he's like, oh, puts up a different pig every day. Gets a pig, like giant pigs. I'm talking bigger than him. Oh, you don't up, bro. <laughs> Me neither, but I'm stinging. So I'm thinking about going and maybe flying up to the Northern Territory just to go buffalo hunting with me mate. Me gaming mate, never met him, only played with him on the games, but I know him pretty well from the game. I'm talking on the line and that. But wouldn't it be cool because I shoot a buffalo. Imagine that, a big dirty ass buffalo. Go kill something. I know I'm stinging, I just want the meat actually. I don't want to, I'm not, I'm just you know, thinking about getting a fox whistle too. And um, just go and hunting some foxes. Water buffalo, yeah, water buffalo. Buffalo Archer in the heart of Australia. Jar Rastafaria. I haven't heard of him. Jar Rastafaria. There's going to be heaps out there. That's what we make. <laughs> Mate, if you need any, there's just hundreds. He just goes picking with his dogs. He just goes picking with his dogs. He puts up these pitches. And they're bigger than him. These pigs are like giant pigs. Massive pigs. He'd get them like every time he goes hunting, he'd get a big giant one. Those damn things are massive. They are building those water buffaloes. They're giant, aren't they? Imagine shooting one. Imagine bow hunting one. They're insane. They're super dangerous too. Like I think they just run you over if they see you. Gonna need a 75 grade. <laughs> That's right. I'm gonna need an 80 pound bow, I think. 85 pound like Joe Rogan. What's Joe Rogan shooting 85 pounds at the moment, isn't he? It's ridiculously heavy bow. Or Cameron Haynes. Cameron Haynes shoots an 85 too, I think, doesn't he? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one I'm talking about. 81 pound. It's a heavy bow. That's a heavy bow. But that's the buffalo I'm talking about. That's where my mate lives, right in that place. Definitely be, it'd be scary. That's for sure. I'd need to take a cameraman or something, or maybe get him to film me or something. It'd be definitely a good film. I'd probably get some views doing that one. Can build a 90-pound boat. Took a water boat buffalo in Australia. That's what I'm. What? 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 Want to help these are cool vids and I appreciate them. You're joking. Oh, I am flooded, you're kidding me, aren't you? Oh, God almighty! Oh, I love you guys, God, you're hectic, holy moly! It's another big day, looks like the goat's on its way. It's another big day, looks like the goat's on its way. I'm rhyming and everything. I'm throwing rhymes out there for you now. Holy hell, holy hell. I'm just blown away, blown away. Oh God, 
I need something to do every time I get a donation. Ten push-ups or something every time. I need something like to whew, calm me down. Holy hell. The interior is at work. To work on. <laughs> took me a while to get that big T. It took me a while. I got that. I got it now. I got it now, eh? You're liking a drink up in an NT. Funny, funny fella, old Big T. Okay. I can't get over that. I'm still shocked. God, I love you guys. Love you guys. Holy hell. Ever since the Nationals, I'm loving shooting. How long have I been shooting now? Nearly two hours, maybe? An hour and 47 minutes. I'm just loving it. I'm just getting into it. Might have to do another live of the Sava. I might just pump out the live. I'm just going to start... I'm going to start doing the Dudley, I think. Shooting like four or five hundred arrows a day or two. Warm weather, cold beer, sexy backpackers. The place to be! The place to be! I might just have to start practicing and practicing. I really like bear bailing. Oh, here comes the sneeze. <coughs> Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Let's get into it. Oh, God, I love you guys. That's insane. God, I love you. Definitely loving the feel of this release when I get the um, relaxed hand happen. The relaxed hand, the relaxed everything. I'm shooting 300 a day currently, trying to get ready. Trying to get ready for my first competition. I can get about 284. I'll tell you what, the biggest thing is with um, shooting is relaxing the front hand. Letting that bow jump out of your hand. If you can just get that to happen, your scores will just increase dramatically. So just work on really relaxing that front hand. It's the most important thing in archery, I reckon, having that dead front hand. Because as soon as you get any tension, that's when it starts popping off and you start going, why did it go out there? What? I was dead set in the center, but I flicked it out here. What happened? And that's the front hand. It's all in the front hand. It's just a little tip from me anyway. Form looks spot on, buddy. Hands coming back around the head. Oh, it's come, I'm doing this one too, am I? Oh, it's all happening today. Tricky B. Tricky B. Okay, let's continue on. Feels so nice. Feels so nice to shoot like this. Here's a wobbly vein on. Feels so nice actually. Now I just got to be able to do it while I'm aiming. That's the next big thing. To be able to do it while I'm aiming. Whether I can do that or not is another thing. The more you do it though, the, better, the more natural it comes. You want it to be a natural thing, don't you? 
no anticipation, just, just to relax and doff. Whether you're aiming or not, you don't want that anticipation. Got that Chris Perkins style going. Do I? I haven't noticed. What's that? What's a Chris Perkins style? I need to practice on shooting with both eyes open. Any suggestions? Um, just um, if you're struggling, you could be equal dominancy. Like you know what I mean? You have equal, I have this thing that soon as I shoot, I can see through this eye, and as soon as the shot breaks, I see through that eye. I can swap as soon as I shoot. So sometimes if I'm aiming with the click, the eyes will swap over. So it's, it's just practice. I think you just got to keep doing it. One of your mate uses one of the eye patches. He really likes that. And you get it from shooting stores. So you go to a shooting, um, a gun store, a handgun store, and you can get a, a flap that just clips your hat. And that lets you open the eye without having to be dominant too. See ya, see ya Tricky B, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, it's been a long one. Love ya, love ya. I wish I wasn't scared of a hinge. I bought a sear. You just shared with Jimmy about it. And he still did. <laughs> He's still um, scared about it, you, buddy. He still couldn't have a shot of it after our chat. That was a good chat. If you ever want to talk to me, just message me on something. And I'll have a chat with you, FaceTime you, whatever. I'm all happy to talk to you as any time you want. Oh, hit the click again. Who's up this? Who's this? Sinistar! Sinistar seen the spanner and was like, who's this? Who is this? Sinister Archery himself. The main man. General of the EXA. Here we go. You! I'm loving this new release. Let me tell you, I'm loving this um, Bright Sight Rest. Stout's in as well, stout. I'm left eye dominant, able to train my eyes after a couple of hours. You can get to swap over. That's interesting. Make sure you get on Discord too. Discord's been blowing up lately. Discord's going great. Link in the description. Jump on Discord, have a chat, throw your pictures up. Talk about your archery stuff. I'm going to be getting back into it more too. I've been neglecting a bit. Every time you want me to see something, make sure you tag me in a Discord thing so I get the notification because I don't get the notification unless you Discord me. Then I miss half the chat. Shooting that much, I'm starting to get a blister on the thumb from the thumb peg. That's a small one, how many hours I got left? It is quarter to 12. I think I'm going to have to go get lunch after these ones. But I might be out for an Arvo. I might come out for an Arvo one. I'm just going to start pumping it. Just start pumping the bare barrel until I get this anticipation thing gone.
Talking about Rio Wild before, Rio Wild says anytime you get like start to get target punchy, target punchy, start to get punchy or target panic, you should just shoot bear bales for two weeks straight, not look at a target for two weeks. Can we get some EXA in the chat? Yeah. Love yous, let's spam some EXA. Go on guys, love yous. Hit the like button for me too. What lens power, what lens power do you want next? I was thinking times three. Maybe I should try times three. Who uses the times three? Chance Bobeth, doesn't he? Chance Bobeth. I think you want next, I was thinking. I well, know, I'm pretty sure Chance um, Bobeth uses the times three. I wouldn't mind trying the times three. I think it was Bobeth. I think it was Bobeth. Let's go. out I got to meet Rio and Logan what well, really a couple of months ago at SoCal shoot down wow that's lucky they're really nice guys are they that's awesome what's on the menu for lunch I was just thinking that I was just thinking what do I get I had sushi so I can't really have sushi again yes I had sushi for lunch yesterday wouldn't mind a bit more sushi though. But I don't know, probably just make something. What can I make? Well, give me some suggestions what I have seeing. Eh? That's it, EXA. If you don't know what EXA is, EXA just means Ellis Army all the way. Have Pad Thai. Oh. Now I'm gonna have Thai for dinner tonight. I'm gonna have Thai for dinner, so I can't have Thai for lunch. Grilled chicken. It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. bad idea at all. I want to just keep shooting arrows though. I want to just keep shooting arrows now that I've got subway foot long. There's another idea. But um, I just want to keep shooting. I'm just loving shooting at the moment. Or a nice juicy steak for lunch. Oh I haven't had a steak for lunch for a while. I've got one. What is it? Sinister? What is it? Venison. Don't tease me. Don't tease me, M Floods. Don't tease me. So I bet you've all got a freezer full of venison, and here's me eating some store bought thing. Kangaroo burger. Get some kangaroo meat and have a burger. It's not a bad idea. How about a roux pie? The roux pie. I've never had a kangaroo pie actually. It's one thing I haven't tried. Come to Victoria, I'll take you to get some venison, Jimmy. <laughs> Ooh, it's tempting, it's tempting. I might have to do that soon, so you can take me hunting. You can take me hunting. So what to get for lunch? Is it going to be a cooking special? A live cooking special? We're going to go from archery to cooking. Oh no, I've ripped a vein. I'm chunking the veins out a bit today. You have to re revein these maps. What was that? Like five ends? What was that? 80 arrows or something? Ugh, 80 arrows down. Bit of moose steak. Don't tease me with this moose. This moose and bloody. What, what are elk? Elk. What, what's elk like to eat? Does anyone eat elk? What's elk like? If you want to buy some venison, I'll send you a loin if you really want it. It's because I love you. Can you get it to Australia? Can you send it to Australia though, B Temp? Will it make it? Will it still be edible when it gets here? 
I heard it's awesome. Really, elk's awesome. I wouldn't mind it. I'll pay for the um. I'll pay for the postage. I'll pay for the postage, B temp. It's good too. Venison jerky. Oh. See, you're all making me hungry now. I'm definitely going to have to go get something meaty for lunch, I think. Something meaty for lunch. What to get, what to get. Anyway, guys, I might be back later. What do you reckon? You want me to come back later? Uh, I'm going to come back later anyway. If I feel like shooting later, I'll be back on. Well, message me, B-Temp, and I'll hook you up with the details. We can try, we can give it a go. There must be some way to do it because they send stuff all around the world. Bit of fried chips and onions. Oh, a bit of a live Insta. All right, boys. Yeah, I'm going to get lunch. All right, so yeah, I might be back later. I'm still, I'm loving shooting, so I probably will be. Just keep practicing and practicing and practicing. That's what I need to do. That's what I got to do. All right, guys. So I uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. All my silly outros. Let's go into it. That's it. And I'll see you soon. I'll let you. Um, if I come back, I'll let you know what I got for lunch. All right. See you soon. Exa, you love your sinister. I'll, cry, I'll come back. I'll come back after lunch. Couple of hours. Couple of hours. All right. See you soon. Yeah.